everybody, it's Barb from The Shabby Tree where I try to inspire you all to be unique in your home in everyday fashion. It is Thursday here, a beautiful Thursday in Georgia, and I know it's looking a little dark and gloomy in here, but there is a reason for that. I'm in a room, I made it a little dark because I really need you to see the full effect of this quick tip I'm gonna show you right now. Do you see what I have in front of me? Okay, if you're following The Shabby Tree, I've been talking about this and I've been telling you I've been working on a quick tip using plastic white colanders from the Dollar Tree. Now, if you're not following the shabby tree, that's why you need to be following because when I'm out and about, I show you all what I pick up and I show you what you're gonna need. So, if you love snowmen, I highly recommend you jump to the Dollar Tree and you get four plastic white colanders because you're gonna get blown away by how cute this snowman turns out. Okay, so, four plastic white colanders. Yes, I am using a Dremel for this project. The reason I'm using a Dremel is I want to cut off the rim of these colanders. Do you see how it has these handles here and it, it does kind of have like a dimensional rim sticking out? I want to cut this right off because I want my two colanders to be flush together and I do not want the rim sticking out around my snowman head. Okay, so you're gonna just take the Dremel. I have a basic little blade on there. You take your Dremel blade and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut the rim off and come right around just like that. It's easy as heck. You've seen me use the Dremel here at the Shabby Tree before. So now I am not sitting here doing this whole project with you because the main post to this video, if you look, it has a link to the blog post where it has all the step-by-step -step directions with photos. You can see exactly how I did this, okay? So what you're gonna do is do that. You pop the rim right off and then you have these four rims. You're just gonna throw them away. You did not need them. Now, when you pop it off, yes, your colander will have some little rough edging. The Dremel comes with a little sandpaper blade. You can take that little sandpaper blade and you can smooth all these rough edges off because what you're gonna need to do is we are connecting the two colanders together to make the snowman head and the snowman base. Now there's one more step you need to do. Two colanders, you're gonna want to take your Dremel and cut out a big circle. Big enough that if you want your snowman to light up, I suggest you get two sets of battery operated lights. And I love the thin like copper or silver wired lights because you don't see all the wiring in the, in the colanders. You need to make sure your little box of lights are gonna fit through here because what we're gonna do is, you're gonna have one set for the head where you're gonna drop your lights down into the head and then the body part will have a hole at the bottom where you're gonna shove the lights up in and he lights up. That's why this room is dark and gloomy because you're gonna see him. Okay, so what you do is cut all your rims off, cut your two circles in two of the colanders. Then it's time for decoupaging, okay? You can use Mod Podge or you can use basic Elmer's glue if you have two. It works just as good as Mod Podge. Okay, so I took, this is an optional step now. If you just wanna leave your colanders white and look like that and make a snowman, you can do that. But I wanted it a little bit fancier and I wanted it to have um, a lace effect to it. So I took a lace tablecloth that I get from my local Goodwill that you all know I keep going to and pick up lace tablecloths, bedspreads, all that kind of stuff. So this one was just a big tablecloth from my local Goodwill. I came home, I cut little squares just like this. Do you see that? I cut little square pieces. And what I did was, after they were all cut and sanded, I took my little lace pieces and I Mod Podged them to all four colanders. So all four colanders will be Mod Podged with my lace. Now you could go to Hobby Lobby, you could go to Joann's, you could get probably a yard and a half of lace, cut it all into little squares like this and Mod Podge it all over four colanders. Then, I know I'm rambling guys, but don't worry because there is a blog post for it. So, after you Mod Podge all four colanders, give them time to dry. While they're drying, take your Sculpey um, bake uh, little Play-Doh here that you have. It's called Sculpey and you bake it. And I made the nose and the eyes. Basic, simple, you're gonna shape it out to a carrot nose, you're gonna do the two eyes, and I did four little pieces for the mouth. You'll see that on the blog post. I did four pieces for the mouth. It is just Sculpey Bay Clay. It's in Hobby Lobby, you can find it anywhere, you can find it in Michaels. I got this from Hobby Lobby. I baked the eyes and the nose, okay? So after I did that, I baked it, and after my colanders were all dried from Mod Podging, I took the colanders together, and what I did was, now remember, they're gonna all have their edges, um, the rims drilled off. What you're gonna do is you are going to just stick 
these together and you're going to hot glue them around the rims and they will hot glue together. Now, I didn't want to see that where they were connected, so I then took more pieces of my lace and Mod Podged it all around my rim. Again, you'll see it all on the blog post, guys. I'm just here to shoot out the idea. I'm here to give you the instructions of what I did and then you can go to the blog post and see all the photos, okay? Now, after you have your two pieces uh, glued together, all I did was stack one on top of another. And then, do you want to see the snowman? Okay, this is what we do, guys. It's crazy as all get out, okay? So the two, four plastic colanders from the Dollar Tree. I also, oh, I also got some red felt. I grabbed some red felt because, get some red felt because we'll be using red felt for Valentine's Day too. I grabbed red felt and all I did was cut him a little scarf like this. I cut a scarf. I did just take scissors and I fringed the end and I wrapped it around his neck. And voila, wait till you see our stinking cute snowman. Okay, so the, the four plastic Dollar Tree colanders turn into this. Okay, are you ready to be blown away? Do you all see how stinking cute he is? Guys, this is why I'm in more of a dark, gloomy room so that you can see how the lights light him up. Do you see him glowing? At night, he is amazing. So who loves snowmen? You really have to give him a try. Okay, are you saying, well, where did the hat come from? Well, the hat came from the shabby tree too. And all you gotta do is go to the blog page and you will find the directions for the hat. Or do you have a hat? Do you have a top hat? Do you have a snowman hat? You can just put a regular snowman hat on him. But this is a hat we made here and I'm not gonna get into that. It's on the blog page. You can see exactly how we made the hat. But guys, do you see all this is, is the, <laughs> how cute is that? Okay, this is his head, do you see it? And it's lighting up because what I've got in here are battery operated string lights. This is the craziest thing ever. I absolutely love him. Do you see? These are just string lights, just like that. And the little box is set down in there and all I do is put these down in here and it lights him up, crazy as heck. Now, the reason I like the lace is it just gives it a better look. You don't have to do the lace if you don't want. By all means, skip the lace step and leave it just a plastic white colander. Now. To get your lights to stay up so the whole head lights, all you gotta do is take a little piece and stick it through a little hole on top here and it'll hold them up. Do you see how cool that is? Okay, and then this is your bottom piece. And then I have the hole right here and I shove the lights in the bottom and then your lights get shoved in your head. And then you just put one on top of another. I am not even gluing them together, guys. It'll be easier to store it away. I just set it on top just like that and then I just wrapped my little red felt scarf around. And voila, you have a snowman. You have an amazing snowman that lights up from Dollar Tree items, guys. Okay, and then all I did was sit the top hat, the snowman hat that we made here at the shabby tree. Okay, guys, I just had to shoot this out to you. I think it's so stinking amazing. I absolutely love him. I hope you all give him a try. If you do give him a try, remember the shabby tree has an amazing crafting group, which is called Crafting with the Shabby tree. It's just a, sh uh, <laughs> a free crafting group. You just got to join it and post away with your pictures, guys. And then I want to see him on there, okay? Everybody, thanks for watching this. I hope you go have an amazing Thursday. I hope you go to the Dollar Tree and get some colanders and give this little guy a try. Thanks for watching this. Hope to see you again soon.